everybody. So instead of a whiteboard today, I'm going to see if you guys don't have your little clocks. This is a great tool to help you um, build times and also change those times. And that's what we're going to be doing today for our quick review. Okay, so I'm not going to be using my clock so much because it does appear backwards on your screen and I don't want to confuse you, but I will show you um, on the clock faces that are on the slide. Here we go. So I'm going to have you go ahead and build the time with me so that we can write each time five minutes later. So we're going to build the time and then change it a little bit, just a, just a little bit. All right, so first time we're going to build is three o'clock. So I'm going to go ahead and just focus in on three o'clock here. When I'm doing this, I really do think of the two hands as being distinct. The short hand, the little red hand, points at the numbers. So you're going to point the little red hand right at the three. Boink. Mm -hmm. And the blue hand doesn't actually point at the number. I like to think of it as pointing way past the number out to the top of the clock where sometimes they put little numbers. If, um, if you look carefully at my clock, there are little numbers, little blue numbers around the outside, right? Yeah, I hope they're on yours as well. So the blue hand points up to where the zero zero would be. So this time is three o'clock. But they don't really want three o'clock, do they? They want five minutes later. So when you're doing five minutes later, you usually don't change the hour, right? It's mostly work that you're going to be doing in the minute area, the minute hand. So for me, I'm going to grab the minute hand and I'm just going to turn it a little bit here. I'm going to just click, 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 click. See if I got it. No, that's like three minutes later. Click, click, click. Oh, I'm getting close. It's four minutes later. There, look at that. I got it. So that's 3.05. I'm going to write that down. 3 o'clock, and then I changed it so that now it would be 3.05. The 3 doesn't really change. It's the 05 that's changing. Next, 6.30. Okay, so I'm going to grab this one. Bring it up here. I should bring that all the way to the front so none of my other lines make it through. Oh, ho, that's better. All right, so this is what 6.30 looks like on your clock. So on your clock, let's spend a little bit of time talking about what's different. When we did the first one, the long hand was all the way up at the top. This time, the minute hand is all the way down at the bottom. It's pointing down here to the little number at the bottom of the clock that says 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, halfway around the clock. 30 is half past. And then the 6, let me show you where that comes from. It comes from the little red hand pointing in between the 6 and the 7. See? It's halfway toward the 7. Imagine you're standing at your house and you start walking toward the neighbor's house. You're still in your yard. You're not in the neighbor's yard yet. You're not in the neighbor's house yet. So you're still six something. So in this case, you're going to say we are six. And we need to be five minutes later. So if it was 30, now it's going to be 35. Can you change your clock so that it was 6.30, but now it's going to be 6.35. And you're going to do that just by rotating that blue hand. I think it's probably easier to do on your clock than on my screen here. Click. One, two, three, four, five minutes, and that'll change that 30 to 35. Okay, so we've done two of them. Let me do the next one here. Coming up, coming up. Ooh, 7.15. So let's take a look at what 7.15 would look like on your clock. We could even build it. I'll bring this one all the way to the front. There we go. 7.15. So the seven, well, let's, that's probably the easy part, right? So let's start with that. Points right at the seven. 
little bit past maybe. Seven. And then the 15, there's no 15 on the clock. Remember, they're not pointing to the numbers. They're pointing to these little minutes that go around. Five minutes past, 10 minutes past, 15 minutes. So really the blue hand is pointing out here, right? Way out here, counting those minutes. 715. But now we have to change the clock. We have to rotate it. So grab that blue hand and move it down. I'm getting closer. There we go. We were at 5, 10, 15, but now we've jumped to 20. So we need to change that to 7, 20. Five minutes more, five minutes later. Doesn't really change the hour at all. We're just changing the minutes, adding five, adding five, adding five. This next one, um, we could probably do without building it. You know, we probably could. I think it's good practice to build some of these times. So let's build another one here. All right, the weird thing about this one is that the hour hand is pointing pretty much at the two. And the minute hand is pointing, whoa, is pointing pretty much at the two as well. See how those hands are pretty much on top of each other? That's the time, two, 10. Because we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 minutes past two, two, 10. But we want five minutes later than two, 10. So we need to somehow make it look like 215. And we're going to do that by taking the minute hand, that's the one that's going to be the moving the most, and bringing it a little bit closer to the 3, 5, 10, 15. There's 215. So we've built a bunch of times and then added five minutes to each of those times. This is a good practice for you. I'm glad you have those clocks. Thanks for building those clocks with me.